He's the best pop musician that ever lived. Anybody who ever cooed into a microphone and harmonized it owes it to Prince. He didn't sound like anybody else. He didn't play like anybody else. He had this, ah, oh, as soon as he came in. He was a game changer. One of the rare combination of great musician, great singer, great songwriter, and great conceptualist. The lights went out, Nikki started to grind. He was born Prince Rogers Nelson, you know, in Minnesota. Somewhat undersized kid. He played basketball in high school. They sent him to music teachers, and he ended up teaching the music teachers. And he was only five. They say he learned 18 different instruments. He was pretty much a loner. Just had his guitar and just played in the basement. Prince was kind of shy as a kid. I never thought of him like that. Whenever there was music involved, he was the exact opposite of shy. He really loved music. You could just tell that it was just in him. When he signed to Warner Brothers, they wanted to give him a, a producer. And Prince said, I've got to do it myself. And that was almost unheard of for a starting artist. But we saw the results. Like it's 1999 just shattered everything. And you really started paying attention to who this guy was. was the Mozart of his day. Do you consider yourself a modern day Mozart? Everything that Prince did, you can't think about it without thinking about the talent. He was the most astonishing virtuoso on keyboards and guitar of his generation. You heard it in every song he did. Let's get crazy. Raspberry Beret. Purple Rain. Purple Rain. Purple Rain. It's one of the great pop ballads ever recorded. To make it in a movie, that's something no one that decade did. Bruce Springsteen didn't make a movie. Michael Jackson didn't make a movie. Purple Rain was huge. The winner is Prince for Purple Rain. This is very unbelievable. I know everyone talks about Purple Rain, but when doves cry is the moment we call them a genius. This is what it sounds like when the doves cry. Incredibly autobiographical. Was he just like his mother? Was he just like his father? Why do we scream at each other? You're very sweet, but you're very much to yourself. Okay. And ch shy? Mm, I wouldn't say. OK. Shy. This is a guy who didn't give interviews. He didn't pose for magazine covers. He was too shy to show up for We Are The World. But what he did kind of blew everybody's mind. He created the greatest single musical moment in the history of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction. Thank you, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Later, you know, he became a, a Jehovah's Witness and said that you couldn't swear around him. If I can stop swearing, everybody can stop swearing. <laughs> you kick the edge of your bed. What, what do you yell? Artichoke. <laughs> In recent years, one of the most powerful things that he did was the Super Bowl halftime show for the NFL. The fact that the skies opened up, that's when you know that there's, there's something else at work. He's unfazed. He's behind like a big sheet. For him, it's just another kind of pivotal moment in just a career of just great, great musical plateaus. But now oh my God, wait, wait, is that Prince? <laughs> the key to longevity is to learn every aspect of music that you can. You just look wonderful. Oh, you know you <laughs> Y'all, I haven't had breakfast yet, so. The pioneering musician Prince has died at the age of 57. It was like an avalanche of sadness just landed on people. Fans came from all over to just be with him. How did you feel when you heard the news today? Devastated. The cause of death now confirmed. Prince died of an accidental drug overdose, self-administered fentanyl. His death was a shock. It was also a mystery. A month after he died, 
we found out that he had died from a self-administered overdose of fentanyl. We also didn't realize just how severe he suffered from back pain. We don't want him to be remembered for all the, the nonsense and, and the stories that are coming out. I want him to be remembered for the music like Diamonds and Pearls. And at a time where you were either an artist or an entertainer, to be both is unbelievable. And very, very, very few people do it. That is a man who did it perfectly.